Now most of the discussion we've had so far about friction has involved examples where we want to minimize the friction. We're trying to move an airplane through the air or move a car along the road or a train or something. We want as little friction as we can get. Well, if we didn't have any friction at all, ever, the world would be a very different place. In fact, there are plenty of times that we need friction. Plenty of things we do in everyday life require friction. Just walking, for example. If you walk, your foot pushes off of the floor, and you have to grip the floor there. And this is why your shoes, for example, have rubber bottoms on the shoes. The soles of shoes are typically rubber or some material that will grip the floor easily. You're not going to have people out there playing basketball with cloth shoes. You want something that has a lot of friction. You need to be able to start and stop quickly or just walking or running. You, you need friction or just simple tasks like holding a pencil. If there were no friction, your pencil would just slip right out of your hand. You wouldn't be able to write. And even if you could somehow grip it, it would just slip right across the paper. No lead would, would rub off onto the paper making a mark. So if you start to imagine a world without friction, you, re you realize that it would be a very different place. Cars would not be able to accelerate. You would get in your car and hit the gas and the tires would just sit there and spin against the road and the car wouldn't go anywhere. And that would actually be good because if you got your car moving, you wouldn't be able to stop it. The brakes wouldn't work. Brakes depend on friction and you want a lot of friction in that case. If there were no friction, you would have um, the road, for example, you know, everything's not flat. All the cars would just uh, slide down here to the bottom and pile up down here in the bottom and, and, and the, the people too would, would slide down to the, to the bottom. Everything would accumulate down on low parts. Uh, nothing would ever sit up on a hilltop. It would slide right off the top down to the bottom. And just ordinary daily activities like sitting at the table eating breakfast wouldn't be possible. You try to pick up your spoon, it would just slip right out of your hand. You bump the table and you would just start to slide across the room. You and your chair would just slide. You might even just slide right out of your chair. Just ordinary things depend on friction. So we want some friction in some cases. And all of these ordinary activities require there to be some friction. If there weren't any friction, everything in your house would have to be bolted down to the floor. All the furniture would just slide around just at the slightest bump. It would start to move and would just drift across the floor. So all the furniture would have to be bolted down. And you wouldn't be able to walk around the house. Instead, you would slide around the house. You would push a wall to push off of one wall to slide across the floor and you'd have to have something to grab on to stop so you'd probably have these little handles all around the walls of your house or along the floor so that you could grab them and move along just ev everyday life would be entirely different your fingers grip things when you pick them up and your finger trips your fingerprints contribute to your ability to grip them so just everyday things that you do with your hands wouldn't be possible without friction if your phone rings you pick up the phone if there were no friction it would just slip right out of your hand so anything that you touch or handle depends on friction for for you to simply be able to hold it or if you were to try to call your dog, you want to pet your dog, and you say, come here, boy, and he starts trying to run, his feet would just sit there and spin, would just uh, slide against the floor. He wouldn't actually move anywhere. It'd be like the dogs in the cartoons when they run, and their feet move really fast, and they don't go anywhere. It'd be like that. So with no friction, our world would be entirely different, and uh, many, many things that we do in everyday situations depend on there being some friction. So in many cases we want to overcome friction, but in many cases we're happy to have it around.